Is there anything better to come home to on a cold night than a bowl of chili? I don't think so. Today in my kitchen, we are making my amazing slow cooker chili. This recipe is full of a ridiculous amount of flavor and I know your family's gonna love it. It is going to become your new favorite chili recipe. We are going to start this awesome chili recipe by dicing up a green pepper. Next, chop up a small yellow onion. After that, we are going to set a skillet over medium heat and add in some ground beef. While we're using ground beef in this recipe today, you could definitely substitute that with some ground turkey. You would just need to add a little bit of olive oil to your skillet before you brown it. You wanna break up your ground beef. You can see that I'm using a fun, fancy masher that I will give you the link to below, but you could definitely just use a spatula. Once you've got your ground beef just a little bit broken up, you're gonna to wanna to season it with one and a half teaspoons of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now add in your green pepper and your onion. And we're also gonna add in two cloves of minced garlic. Give it all a good stir. We're gonna saute it for about four to five minutes. There's no need to cook the meat all the way through. There's no need to completely cook the vegetables. We're just looking for the meat to begin to brown and the veggies to begin to soften. The rest of the cooking is gonna happen in the slow cooker. Remove the skillet from the heat and now we're gonna drain the excess grease from the pan. I like to do that by grabbing a lid for my skillet and very carefully using it to drain the fat into my sink. Add your meat and your veggies to your slow cooker. And now we're gonna add in our seasonings. Add in two tablespoons of chili powder, one tablespoon of cumin, a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If your family is sensitive to heat, you can definitely reduce the cayenne pepper or you can eliminate it completely. I would say that this recipe has a mild to medium spice level. It's not too spicy. My kids are very sensitive to heat and they love this recipe. Finally, you're gonna add in a half teaspoon of ground chipotle pepper. Ground chipotle pepper might not be an ingredient that you keep in your spice rack, but I highly recommend that you invest in a bottle of it. It's made from ground up smoked chipotle peppers and it adds such a unique and smoky flavor to this chili recipe. I love it. I always keep a bottle in my pantry and I use it in my chicken tacos, which we have probably once a week. Now we're gonna add in one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce and one tablespoon of liquid smoke. If you aren't familiar with what liquid smoke is, it is exactly what its name implies. It's actually made from the condensed liquid that you get off of the smoke that comes from burning wood. It sounds weird, but it is truly delicious and it adds such a unique delicious flavor to this chili. I highly recommend that you give it a try. I think you're gonna love it in this recipe and so many others. Now add in a 14 ounce can of drained and rinsed kidney beans. This that my recipes and a lot of other recipes that you follow call for your beans to be both drained and rinsed. That's for good reason. The liquid that it's packed in is full of sodium and it adds a lot of salt to your recipes. So draining it and rinsing it helps eliminate that and then we can work with the salt measurements that are actually called for in the recipe instead of adding so much additional salt that we can't really control. Now add in a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes and a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. Stir everything up and cover up your crock pot. We are going to set our crock pot on low for eight hours. You could cook this on high for four hours. I personally prefer recipes that are cooked nice and low and slow, but do what works best for your family. At the end of the cook time, open up your crock pot and serve up some nice comforting warm bowls of chili. We love topping this recipe with sour cream and shredded cheese. We love serving it with Fritos and with some jalapeno peppers. Of course, do whatever your family loves best. This recipe takes about 25 minutes to prepare in the morning 
and then it is the perfect thing to come home to on a busy weeknight. I know that your family is going to love it so much. The comfort of it, the delicious flavor, and the ease of coming home to something completely cooked and ready to eat. For more delicious, easy, slow cooker recipes like this, make sure to check out my blog, simplejoy.com. Mm. Perfect.